Hogwarts and the Sardine School. Come in, Fuzzy. Have you collected those seaweed samples? Aye, Captain. And I'm heading back to the Octopod right now. Huh? Shiver. Whiskers. I thought I was a hotshot pilot, but these little fishies put me to shame. Octonauts, can you see this? They're sardines, Quasi. Sardines always travel together in a school. But how do they all stay together? The scales on sardines' skin help them feel when other sardines are near them. That's how they stay together when they move. Yeah, a triple curly cue with a half bite squid. Oh, gotta try that. Quasi out. Now I'm gonna show these little fishies some moves of my own. Sardines always travel in large schools. Then, when a fish wants to eat, it shows up. We swim in lots of different directions, so it doesn't know who to follow. Clever. There's only one of me, but I'd be happy to take you safely to your school. That's very nice of you. But, there they are now. I know a shortcut through this old shipwreck. out of this mess. Quasi. Well, I hit me head, the cup is trapped, and a little sardine is in danger because she lost her school. Other than that, everything's fine. Hiya! Sounds like you need a hand. Dashi, sound the octo alert. Aye, aye, Captain. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we've got an emergency rescue, first aid, lost sardine situation. Uh -huh. So, I'll explain on the way. Tweak into the gup D. Peso into the gup E. Okay, right yeah. oh, Captain. Dashi, open the octo hatch. I'm on it, Captain. you over as soon as I can get in there. That's where I come in. Thanks, everybody. But where are my manners? Octonauts, meet my new friend, Dina. Dina, Octonauts. Hi, everybody. Sorry if I caused any trouble. Nonsense. The Octonauts are always happy to help. 
Quasi, which way was the sardine school heading? They went that way, but they could be anywhere by now. Barnacles to Shellington. We've lost track of the sardines. Is there anything that could help us find them again? Yes, Captain. I believe we can find the sardines by listening for their burping sound. Sardines burp? Actually, yes. Sardines and many other fish swallow air to help them stay afloat. But when they want to sink lower, they burp the air out again. Uh. Captain, you should be able to pick up the burping sound on the Guts underwater microphone. Now, just listen and be very quiet. I don't suppose the sardines are taking a nap? No, that's just an elephant seal snoring. What's that, Shellington? That's just a crab clicking its claws. Uh, 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 ah, burping. Dashie, can you tell us where it's coming from? I'm on it, Captain. Straight ahead, near a coral reef. Then that's where we're heading. Barnacles out. Dina, we may have found your school. That's good news. Best be on your way, Dina. But I don't want to leave you here, Quasi. I'll be fine. I'm with my school, remember? And you need to be with yours. Come on now. Thanks, Quasi, for all your help. Anytime. Stay safe out there. Just follow me, Gina. The burping is getting louder. We must be getting close. Don't tell me seahorses burp too, Shellington. Actually, lots of fish do, Captain. We must have picked up seahorse burps instead of sardine burps. What if my school is so far away we never find them? Captain, the birds you hear now are coming from somewhere above you. This could be your school, Dina. Let's go. We must be very close now. My school! I can feel them with the scales on my skin. There they are! Oops! Almost forgot to say thank you. And please thank Quasi for me. Don't mention it, Dina. Helping sea creatures is what we do. Bye, Dina. I'll let Quasi know you're all right. Here you go, Quas. You're free. Come in, Quasi. We found Dina's school and she's safe and sound. That's happy news indeed, Captain. Everything looks good here. See you back at the Octopod. Mmm, breakfast, lunch, and dinner is served. That shark looks hungry for sardines. I've got to help them. Oh, no! Hmm, uh, uh, um. they're swimming in different directions to confuse the shark. More sharks. Looks like the sardines could use some backup. Calling all guts. Sardines in trouble. <laughs> Octonauts, I don't know if I can hold them off by myself for much longer. You won't need to, Captain. Octonauts, follow the sardines' lead. Swirl and confuse. Okay. I guess we both needed our schools to help us. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Louder. We must be getting close. Don't tell me seahorses burp too, Shellington. Actually, lots of fish do, Captain. We must have picked up seahorse burps instead of sardine burps. What if my school is so far away we never find them? Captain. The birds you hear now are coming from somewhere above you. This could be your school, Dina. Let's go. We must be very close now. 
You're so old. I can feel them with the scales on my skin. There they are. Oops. Almost forgot to say thank you. And please thank Quasi for me. Don't mention it, Dina. Helping sea creatures is what we do. Bye, Dina. I'll let Quasi know you're all right. Here you go, Quas. You're free. Come in, Quasi. We found Dina's school, and she's safe and sound. That's happening. Thank you first aid lost sardine situation. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, I'll explain on the way. Tweak into the gup D. Peso into the gup E. Okay. Right yeah. oh, Captain. Dashi, open the octo hatch. I'm on it, Captain. Percy, your school is here. Hi. You could call him that. What's your head, Quasi? Do you feel dizzy? Sleepy? How many fingers am I holding up? That's a trick question. You don't have any fingers. Great. You don't seem hurt, but I'm still going to check you over as soon as I can get in there. That's where I come in. Thanks, everybody. But where are my manners? Octonauts, meet my new friend, Dina. Dina, Octonauts. Hi, everybody. Sorry if I caused any trouble. Nonsense. The Octonauts are always happy to help. Quasi, which way was the sardine school heading? They went that way, but they could be anywhere by now. Barnacles to Shellington, we've lost track of the sardines. Is there anything that could help us find them again? Yes, Captain. I believe we can find the sardines by listening for their burping sound. Sardines burp? Actually, yes. Sardines and many other fish swallow air to help them stay afloat. But when they want to sink lower, they burp the air out again. Uh. Captain, you should be able to pick up the burping sound on the gut's underwater microphone. Now, just listen and be very quiet. I don't suppose the sardines are taking a nap? Don't 